Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with some quick news. Disappointing news. Invicta FC 43, the main event for the flyweight title between Pearl Gonzalez and Aaron Blanchfield, has been canceled uh, due to Pearl being diagnosed with COVID-19. Uh, I first saw this on IG that Aaron Blanchfield had posted on her Instagram that the fight was canceled. And uh, someone in the comment section, they asked why the fight was canceled. And she responded, Pearl had COVID. So I went to Pearl's uh, IG and she posted on a, she posted up a video of her in a bathtub. You know, she looked pretty sick and sad. Like she was just trying to relax out but uh i actually played the video last night on a live stream and uh this is what she said in her video just in case y'all didn't catch it um i'm really sorry but i'm not fighting on november 20th i've got covid i'm really sick these last couple of days my camp shannon knapp myself just decided it would be best that if i hold out one i might not be clear to the covid test anymore and two i'm really effing sick this is really effing brutal so yeah you're definitely not going to be clear to the covid test because yeah she she definitely was sick so she definitely has to take the time out. Uh, she also posted, um, I just wanted to tell I, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm really sorry. I'm heartbroken. I'm gonna focus on getting stronger. So uh yeah, she said some other stuff, you know, just about taking care, you know, wearing a mask and washing your hands. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say I hope Pearl takes the time out to fully recover. Like I've always said since the pandemic started, you know, this is gonna be a new norm. I mean, since numbers still spike around the country and people aren't taking full precautions, you know, we will get cancellations. I don't care if it's regular work for us, the entertainment business or sports. You know, I'm not saying that Pearl was being was not being careful, but you know, people around her, people around those people, you know, they could have been exposed to it or training partners or coaches, you know, family members of theirs. So, you know, whenever you're out training at these gyms or you know, even these little tight areas like, you know, garages where all these uh training partners and sparring parts partners get together, you're still exposed to it, you know, so you can expect somebody to come down with it. You know, you're still at high risk. I mean, last week we had Vito Arteaga versus Desiree Yanez canceled because for the same reason, Vito Arteaga, she uh, tested positive. So it's pretty much a norm now. Like I said, my past few videos over the past few months, I just hope sooner and later, sooner than later, they could actually get this thing under control. Um, I think it's going to take more people staying home and wearing masks. And like I said, taking the proper precautions and you know, a lot of people need to stop feeling like their freedom is being compromised. But, you know, that that's another story. But I, we can't see this fight in the coming weeks. But, you know, hopefully it'll be rescheduled for, you know, late December or late January. But at least we still have the strawweight title fight between Emily Ducote and Montserrat Ruiz. So, yeah, wishing Pro Gonzalez a full recovery. And I'll keep you guys posted on updates for this potential title fight. So make sure y'all subscribe. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Peace.